It's the Angela and Judy, the Angela and Judy, the Angela and Judy Show. Brought to you by Periscope. Morning. Mm-hmm. Once it gets cold in the morning and then it gets warm during the day. And then you just don't know how to dress. You don't know if you should be wearing pants. Oh, it's your eye. Butter? I don't know if it's so puffy. But... Yeah, it doesn't look as bad. So yesterday we were at work and Judy had an allergic reaction again in her eye. Like it literally was happening before my eyes. All of a sudden I looked at her and like two seconds later I looked again and her eye, like I could physically see it puffing up, puffing up, puffing up, and then like on the side of the eyeball, you could see like it almost looked like a bubble, yeah, like a bubble of fluid. I don't know. And then it's like red all around the eye and like puffy, almost to the point where it looks like somebody clocked you with a hammer or something <laughs> in the eye. It's crazy. Crazy. I know. So I called, I did my weekly call to the non-emergency yesterday. Oh God. <laughs> I called. Or what now? Okay. Oh. So, oh my God. It's crazy. I just <laughs> run into these things. Oh Lord. So I'm driving and I'm on, I'm, I'm going towards the highway and I went on to Harrison. I don't even know where I was going or what I was doing. I went somewhere anyway. And all of a sudden, in the middle of the road, I see the biggest coffee pot ever that was... <laughs> Shut up, Jenny! Jenny! And it was shattered, like the whole machine. The whole coffee pot machine with this big-ass coffee pot. And it was shattered in the middle of the road with ice cube trays. And it was just like laying in the middle of the road and it was completely shattered. There was like glass everywhere. People were slowing down and I thought, this is an accident waiting to happen. So you did your duty. So I called and I said, hi. I said, I said, this is Angela. I said, I am on the corner of such and such. And I just wanted to report that there is a coffee machine. <laughs> In the middle of the road, shattered with ice cube trays. And she's like, now where is this again? And I told her, and she said, thank you so much for calling. We will get somebody out to clean it up. <laughs> what? That's very responsible It was you. so responsible. And she was so appreciative. I'm sure she that was. That was my week. My weekly call. Coffee pot and ice cream maker. Mm-hmm. It was crazy how it was just in the middle of the road, though. Like, <laughs> like what did somebody do? Just like chuck it out the window and decide, oh, here's a great place to dump my coffee. It probably fell off a truck. Oh, you're right, because it had ice cube trays. So it's probably like the kitchen moving box. Something like that. Something like that. Yeah. I never thought of that. And now they're distressed. And now they're upset. And the police have it now. So now well, it's they evidence. Have it in <laughs> now it's evidence. Well, I don't think they can Google it. Now it's no, I don't think so. There was glass everywhere. Every Did you ever where? make an appointment? your car? No. Oh, and that reminded me I have to do that today. <laughs> well, I, ha- I have reminded you. I know. And I, I really do need to get it done soon because I feel like snow is going to come early this year. I do too. And you know what I've also heard from people around the United States is that um, the stomach flu hit. People are puking. People are puking with diarrhea right now. Uh, and um, and it's all across the United States. So stomach viruses are happening. So remember to stock your refrigerator with regular 7-Up, not diet. It has to be regular. Stock your refrigerator or stock your cupboard with cans of peaches and heavy syrup. 
and a thermometer, Tylenol, and a Pedialyte, and then the Brat Diet, which the Brat Diet is bananas, rice, applesauce, and toast. I'm a mother. Yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah. In more than one way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I am a mother. I have heard that though. That of oh yeah. So I always use this trick with my kids. After they throw up, I usually like wait a while, oh. you know, to see if they're going to throw up again. But then if like it cycled and then all of a sudden, like after an hour, it stops, you open up your can of peach juice and you take a teaspoon of that syrup of the heavy peach syrup and it can't be the light it has to be the heavy and you give that to them and it quotes their stomach and it helps it calm down and then you wait a half an hour and if they're still not having anything then they can have another tablespoon of heavy peach syrup and then you ease into um, that brat diet bless you. Thank you and if they keep on throwing up and they don't stop, you need to get them to the emergency room and have them hooked up, bless you, with IVs. Because sometimes you get to that point where there's no return. They're just gonna keep on heaving and heaving and heaving. And then they get dehydrated and that's that very scary. Thing. So you have to go to the ER and get hooked up with IVs. It's a whole cycle. I've done it before and I know the cycle. I you've never had that psycho with your kids? My kids, honest to God, never rarely, got sick. They were rarely sick. Yeah. Honest to God, they really they really That's never, good. I mean My kids got sick all the time. Strep throat. No. This and that fifth disease. Each of my kids had stomach strep, flus. No yeah, they ear had infections. Like once. Yeah. They all each of had it. like one ear infection. Mm. So mine really just never That's good. And mm -hmm. I did not breastfeed, just an FYI. Yeah, Judy didn't breastfeed and I didn't breastfeed and we both had different outcomes. But, I'm just so, saying say, but we know. are for breastfeeding. If you feel oh, like yeah, you need definitely. to breastfeed your baby, we definitely. are definitely for breastfeeding. And if I would have known that I could have pumped at the age of 16, I, I probably would have. Still wouldn't have. You still wouldn't have? You no. didn't have time to pump. Well... I think because when I had my first, my dad almost died. Yeah, I, Judy's just, dad was very ill. I just was too stressed to even think about it. Mm -hmm. And then I just never... Mm. I honestly just never had the desire. My milk came in and I probably could have fed an army. I, my boobs were so tender and sore because they were rock hard. I was squirting out at mine, six months. Mine, six months being pregnant, my boobs were squirting out. Mine never did. All of a sudden, I'd look down and there'd be two big wet marks on my boobs. Which my mom, when she she produced a lot, she, she donated. She could feed an army. Yeah, that's because what they back said. Back in the day. Back in the day, you donate. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was. And then they went through a time period where they thought that that was completely disgusting. Mm -hmm. And now they're saying that it's a beautiful back, thing again. But back then, like my oldest siblings, they didn't mm -hmm. have all this formula in that. Well, you and back I mean? then, we didn't have to worry about moms being on meth. And actually, <laughs> they you know, to, to donate that, um, powdered milk. Powdered milk? Yeah, dry powdered milk. Oh, really? It was an actual formula. Yeah, I didn't like, know that. Back, I mean, I, you figure my eldest sister would be 67. Right. So. I hope everyone has a fabulous Thursday, and I hope you had fun with the Angela and Judy show. If you guys would like to donate, please go to paypal.me slash az for Angela. Um, PayPal is in the description box. Don't forget to watch me on oh. YouTube, youtube.com slash az for Angela, where you can get all... Did you hear that? That was my stomach. Where you can get all of the updates um, from Periscope. I up or I upload all my Periscopes onto YouTube. Plus, I do other videos. Today was a busy haul. Busy tarts, wax. Get your life. Oh, uh, I'm freezing. My hair looks so thin. And why did it grow so fast? I just got it cut. And I feel like it's already. I was gonna, I gotta wash mine after. I feel like it's today. already back. You're gonna what? 
So I was going to wash mine this morning, but then if I'm going in the pool, I thought, well, I know, I'll that's just, what I thought too, but I washed it anyway. I'll just, you don't usually get your hair wet. Though. No, I never do. I always put my hair up in the highest bun possible. And, I always and then I get them. into my suit and then I paddle, 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 paddle. Uh, oh God, I'm freezing. All right. Okay. Have a great day, everyone. Toodles. Judy! Jenny! <laughs> oh my god! Jenny! Jenny!